Forza 3, you, you, you really don't uh, pull any punches when you say that this is going to be the definitive game of this generation. Why is that? We're very confident. I mean, it really came together even in the last month as we hit code complete and we started making a build for E3, even as we played the game. It was just amazing. The game looks beautiful. It's really fun to play. The physics, nothing touches our physics. The things we did with UGC and Forza 2, we're blowing that out of the water in this version. So really on all fronts, the game is better. Better AI, I mean, you name it, we're doing it all. Forza 2 was a fantastic game, reviewed well basically everywhere. But if there was one complaint, it might have been that the graphics weren't as, as, uh, as beautiful as, as one would have wished. Was that something that you went into this, this game knowing? Well, the issue was we were one of the first games on the 360 to be 60 frames per second. And in my opinion, if you're not 60, you're not racing. So that's why we had to do that for Forza Motorsport 2. But since then, we've had teams like Epic, BioWare, Lionhead. Great teams that have been working on the box and learning little tricks. It's kind of like Tetris, right? They're fitting the little pieces together. And they're really figuring out how to optimize for the box, right? We're using those techniques. So we rewrote our graphics engine, and now we're running 60 frames per second, and we look just as good as any other game on the Xbox 360, better than most. Yeah, it, the, this, this, the leap is just amazing to see from that game to this one. It's shocking. And a lot of it actually comes down to talent. We've hired a ton of new talent. We've got a guy that's a cinematics director from Blizzard and he knows how to get lighting right. I don't know if you've ever watched the cinematics on like World of Warcraft, right? Yeah, well, absolutely, it's crazy. So he came in and even using some of the same tools, when you get a truly creative artist in there, they can actually make the same scene just look so much better by tuning it. User-created content is something that, that really Forza, went, went, Forza 2 went ahead and, and really spearheaded. Uh, how are you planning to, to make that even more so in the, in the sequel? Well, that's what's so cool to me, because we, we're blowing the racing genre out of the water, right? The things we're bringing with 400 cars and 100 tracks, nobody's going to touch us in the racing genre. But what's exciting to me is how we're pushing the entire entertainment industry. User-generated content's here to stay. It's like YouTube. It's just the way that things are going to be, because it can make everyone's experience richer. But again, it's not about turning you and me into the most creative dudes in the world, because we're just not that, right? I'm not smart like that. What we need to do is get a large enough group that that small percentage of creative people can really show their passion and show their force. And we just tune in to see what the hell they're going to do next. That's the exciting bit. So we've got different classes, right? It's almost like, you know, a paladin and a warrior and a this and a that. We've got the painter, we've got the tuner, we've got the driver, we've got the director, the social coordinator. When they pull them all together in a video, it's going to be shocking, I guarantee you. So you mentioned there a little bit about the assist. Could you, could you advise, like, how, because Forza is it's a pretty hard game. Like, I mean, the, the, the brake assist thing is like, almost takes away, it, does it make you like, you're almost not playing yourself, or? I don't know, I mean, it's like auto-aim in a first-person shooter. It's really the same thing, it's an assist. Does that mean you don't have skill? No. It just means you can have more fun. You want, you want to get more headshots? Auto aim's for you. You know, you want to pass more AI? Having the auto brake's really helpful. I think in a lot of ways, it's the same way people are always resistant to these sort of assists. Ten years ago in racing games, you couldn't find one with a restart race. And a lot of the developers and a lot of the hardcore racers were saying, you can't put in restart race, you've got to earn it. If you came in last place, take it, right? And now you can't make a racing game without restart race, because it's just too punishing. Well, our rewind feature is just like that. Our auto brake feature, our green line feature, which has already been adopted. That's just the way we're evolving the racing genre, and everyone's going to catch up. You know, people are going to say, oh, are you taking the difficulty out of it? I think that's a valid question. Play it, because the truth is I am a hardcore racing gamer, and I play with it, because it's fun. <laughs> I'm excited about the rewind function just because how you can mess around with things, right? Because you know, of course you want that, when you're racing seriously, you want that challenge to like, you want to be punished when you make a mistake. But then again, if you just want to have some fun, I mean, because there's two different le levels to that, that function. Absolutely. I mean, yes, it'll make you more successful and hopefully keep you from turning the box off, you know, if you've made a mistake. But you're Rage right. quit. Right. What's that? Rage quit. Right, exactly. So, but on top of it, it, it's also a great way to have fun with physics. You take a giant SUV and you ram that into a tiny little micro hatch. It's pretty fun. And it's one thing you don't want to do in real life, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, uh, Forza 3, shipping this October. 
Are you you feel confident that you'll be there with the with the game? I do actually. The state we're at right now is really incredible. I mean, you can see it right now. All the features are here. The the game is playing great. It's running at 60. It looks. So you're, you're just making us wait, right? Oh, it's not done, done. Okay, okay. I see how it is. No, it. We're we're really on a good trajectory. We feel very good about the investments to be made. Well, do you plan a demo for Xbox Live? You know, we're looking at a demo right now. Um, yes. When is the question? How early can we get the demo done is really what it comes down to. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.